Welcome to the Brains Body Podcast with your host, Dr. Christopher Kevin Slayton. Wait a minute. The mind is not the brain. The mind is the physics of the body. The brain is the body. The neurophysics of self-actualization. Learning the brain's body with Dr. Slayton Live. Dr. Slayton Live introduces the concept of the brain's body to emphasize how our mental and physical experiences are intricate rotations of self-actualization. Why? The brain-body connection matters. The interaction between the brain and the body forms a key area of study. This topic is significant because it demonstrates how mental and physical processes involve sense and receive path conversions. Brain talk. Infant experiencing birth. At birth, an infant initial experience involves the integration of physical sensations and early mental processes. The newborn brain interprets sensory input from the body, shaping the first pathways for understanding the environment and establishing a foundation for future interactions between brain and body, child, emotional regulation. As a child grows, emotional regulation becomes central to development. The child's brain works to manage feelings and responses, interacting with bodily sensations to help adapt to different situations. This stage highlights the evolving connection between emotional experiences and physical reactions. Youth, focusing thought. During youth, the ability to focus thought emerges more strongly. The developing brain enhances concentration and attention, guiding the body's actions and reactions. This period marks a growing link between mental focus and physical outcomes, shaping learning and response. The ultimate experience, young adult, reflective insight. In young adulthood, reflective insight becomes prominent. The brain develops the capacity to reflect on experiences, integrating past learning with present actions. Physical responses and emotional states are considered in light of thoughtful analysis, deepening the interplay between brain processes and bodily experiences. Older adult feedback integration. As individuals age, the experience of receiving feedback shifts in accordance with changes in both brain and body. Older adults often draw from a lifetime of acclimated experiences, allowing for a more managed interpretation of feedback. The brain processes input with consideration for past knowledge and established patterns, while physical responses may be more measured. Human system science meeting. You are invited to participate in Dr. Slayton Live's Human System Science Meeting on October 24, 2025. To request an invitation, please submit your request via email to braintalk at drslaytonlive.com. Braintalk at drslaytonlive.com. Becoming a Brains by Learning Consultant. A Brains by Learning Consultant specializes in guiding others through the process of understanding the dynamic relationship between the brain and the body. This involves helping individuals or groups interpret brain, body, and sense messages, how the brain talks back. Becoming a consumer of brain, body, learning services. Consumers of brain, body, learning services actively engage in receiving guidance and support related to brain, body interactions. By participating in these services, individuals learn to recognize and interpret their own emotional and physical states, enhance their self-awareness, and apply new strategies for managing response, neurophysics of self-actualization, becoming a student of human system science. A student of human system science pursues deeper knowledge about the interconnected systems that govern brain, body, and sense messaging. This involves studying the ways in which Brain functions, bodily sensations, and sense experiences interact across the lifespan. Human Systems Scientist. Conclusion. The mind 
is distinct from the brain as it represents the physical processes that occur within the body. The brain is a component of this system and contributes to the neurophysical mechanisms involved in self-actualization.